we're now in second normal form. If we implement this, we have a second normal form database. But that's not where we want to go. We want to try to get to third normal form. Now, third normal form tested the relation between non-keyed attributes and said that no non-keyed attribute can be dependent on another. So for the first time, first and second normal form look at the relationship between a non-keyed attribute and a key. Now we're going to examine the relationships of the non-keyed attributes. And if you look at it, you will see immediately here that customer name is dependent on customer number, which is a violation of third normal form because one cannot be dependent on another. Indeed, what we're really suggesting is that customer number is not a non-keyed attribute, but in effect, customer number is a key. We apply the laws as we discuss them. Whenever we fail a normal form, we must create a new entity. And the primary key of the new entity on a third normal form failure will always be the non-keyed attribute that is not really a non-keyed attribute. And in this case, it is customer number. So we move customer number out of there. And customer name and customer address come with it. So basically, this becomes the customer master. And once again, it's the same problem if you were to leave it here, and I called up and I said, I want to be a customer. If you left it in this design, you'd have to have ordered something, which may indeed be the rule. In this case, what am I allowing myself to produce? A customer master file that may or may not have ordered anything. But something interesting has now happened something very important to third normal form failures and part of its challenge. You will note when we went from first normal form to second normal form, we, what we call, and we call this propagate, we propagated this key over here. By doing that, we were able to maintain a relationship between these two entities. I mentioned to you earlier that the only way to have a relationship between entities is to have at least one common element between them. When we went from to second normal form and we went from order items to items, you will notice that we propagated the item number. So once again, we maintain through normalization a relationship. However, on third normal form, when we violated it here and we created this table, you will note that there's no longer a relationship. Now I mentioned to you earlier that a foreign key was a situation when there was no natural relationship between two entities. And indeed, every normal form failure at the third normal form level will create a foreign key situation. I must put it back, but unlike the other situations, I don't put it back as part of the primary key as I did here. I put it back as a non-keyed attribute called an FK or foreign key. What this is suggesting is that it is not really storing the customer number. It is storing a pointer to where the customer number is as it is a primary key in this table. And this is known as a foreign key. I had to put it back. I had to make that connection work. Every time you fail third normal form, this will occur. Now, one of the things to look at also is the question of whether or not we're in third normal form. Well, there is another violation here. Some people call it part of third normal form, other people do not, and it's called a derived data element. And to some extent, it is part of a normal form failure. If we look at item amount, it's clearly dependent on item quantity. More importantly, it's a derivation. What is a derivation? You might recall when I showed you quantity times price equals amount, we said that amount was redundant because if we had quantity and price, we could get rid of it. So indeed, we eliminate all elements that are derivations, and these two would go away. 
that leaves us with an, an, entity in, an entity relational diagram situation in third normal form. Now, there are some challenges with that. Obviously, to take out the totals means that you have to calculate them each time you do a query. And there are some serious problems with respect to that. But the answer is not necessarily violating normalization. The problem is if you were to change price or quantity, then you would have to remember to change amount. And that in itself causes some integrity challenges in database design. But now that we've gone through this and we've reached third normal form, what's more important is to put it in a format which we call an entity relational diagram so that we could see how all of these things come together and work. So let's, in effect, do that. <laughs>